Welcome to the lesson on Wi-Fi communication. In this module, we learn ESP32 Wi-Fi communication. ESP32 has two onboard communications. One is Wi-Fi, another one is Bluetooth. ESP32 Wi-Fi works in two modes. One is station mode, another one is access point mode. In station mode, the ESP32 connects to an access point means your ESP32 connects to the modem or it can connect to the router. Okay. Whereas in access point mode, ESP32 will be acting as an access point and other computers, mobile phones, all these stations will connect to this ESP32. Whereas ESP32 in station mode generally comes to the access point and gets the internet access. Whereas in access point mode, to the ESP32, we connect various stations. So in ESP32 Wi-Fi station mode, ESP32 works like a station. So this is the router, this is the access point. To this access point, we connect our Wi-Fi station like computer, mobile phone. So all these will connect to the router. Same way we connect our ESP32 also to the router access point. Then through the access point, our ESP32 gets the internet so that this ESP32 can talk to computer or mobile phone. ESP32 Wi-Fi scan. ESP32 can scan nearest networks available for it. So it can scan in the station mode. ESP32 Wi-Fi access point mode. In Wi-Fi access point mode, ESP32 acts as the access point and it connects to the various stations. So the station here, and this station, these two stations will connect to ESP32, right all of you. So these are the two modes. Now for using Wi-Fi communication in ESP32, MicroPython provides network module. Network module is used to configure the Wi-Fi connection. The network module contains a class called as WLAN. This WLAN control built-in Wi-Fi interface of ESP32. To use the network module, we have to import network. Now, to make it as a station, we have to use network.wlan. We have to pass network.sta underscore if. This is for station mode. Network.ap underscore if. This is for access point mode. Now, we created instance sta underscore if for station mode. For access point mode, we created ap underscore if. Right? So, once we create station and access point, now I will show you how to write a program to scan for networks, to connect to the network and how to get internet access. So all these things we will see now all of you. I will show you step by step. So first we will import the network module. Import network. Once done, now we are going to create the station. So we already know how to make ESP32 as a station. So STA underscore IF is equal to network dot we have the class wlan w l a n in capital and then pass here network dot sta underscore if press center now we can check whether our network is active or not active means our wi-fi interface is active or not active for doing this sta underscore if dot active so we see it is false means it is not active now we have to make it active so activate the station interface now sta underscore if dot active now pass here true value and press enter now we can check that it is active now we see that it is active all of you right i hope all of you are able to understand these are the steps you need to follow first you have to import network from the network module we have to create station and then we have to make station active once you make the station active, next all of you, we can scan for nearest networks. STA underscore IF, then there is a method called as scan, scan, dot scan. So use this method to scan for the nearest networks. Press enter now. Now we can see these are the networks, Bapuji, uh, and then uh, there is another network, Applet, Akash. So these are the different networks available near to me. Right. You can also have uh, you know uh, your networks. You can see your Wi-Fi networks near to you. Right. This is how you can scan. Once you scan, now I want to connect to the network. Right, all of you. So how to connect to the network? It's very simple. To connect to the network, 
you need to know your Wi-Fi, uh, you know, access point, uh, name, and also the password. So if you are using a mobile hotspot, go to your mobile hotspot. In the mobile hotspot, you will see set up portable hotspot there. You will see your network name and also you will see the password, right? Network name, password. And also ensure that, you know, uh, your band, EAP band is 2.4 GHz. Okay, remember it. And device limit, always uh, try to increase the device limit. So, uh, because, you know, you, if you are creating access point in your mobile phone so you need to ensure that you know it should be able to connect with the more number of uh, stations okay so you have to increase the device uh, limit connect so generally connection limit okay so increase the connection limit all of you right so turn on the hotspot after turning on the hotspot now write down sta underscore if you have to uh, then uh, the method is connect method sta underscore if dot connect this is useful to connect your station to the access point. So we are connecting our ESP32 to the uh, hotspot or router. So for, you have to pass two arguments. One is Wi-Fi name or access point name or SSID service set identifier you have to provide here. So I'll be providing my network name and then you have to provide the password, Wi-Fi you know, access point password provide here. Press enter. Now we don't know whether it is connected or not okay we send a command to connect now we have to check whether uh, you know this is connected or not so sta underscore if dot is connected is the method to check whether your esp32 is connected to a network or not sta underscore if dot is connected now it is true it is connected once it is connected now you can check the ip address so to check the ip address you have to use if config method so sta underscore if dot if config so now you can see the ip address of your esp32 192.168.90.171 this is my ip address right all of you so i hope this is clear to everyone this is how uh, you can connect to the network now we will create a function to connect our esp32 to the wi-fi network so import network now we are going to create a function. To create a function, we have to use the keyword def. Def space, give the function name. We are using do underscore connect. So this is a function name. Now all of you, create an instance of wi interface. wlan is equal to network dot wlan dot network dot wlan network dot sta underscore if. So we configured our ESP32 as a station. Now we have to make it active. WLAN.active. Pass here true. Now all of you, we have to check whether our ESP32 is connected or not. If it is not connected, then we have to connect. Right? Otherwise, we have to print it is connected. Right? If it is not connected, then we have to connect. Okay, we have to check whether it is connected or not. If, if not, if not, WLAN dot is connected now we have to connect print connecting to the network now to connect wlan dot connect give here wi-fi name and wi-fi password right once you write connect function next all of you we are going to check whether it is connected or not if it is not connected we will wait till it is connected so for this we will be writing while loop while not wlan dot is connected so this will be waiting till uh, it is connected it will be in the loop now we don't want to do anything here pass if it is connected then we want to print the ip address print network configuration network config to print the network configuration we have to use wlan dot if config IF config. So this is the function to connect to the internet. Once the function is created, now we can call this function to connect to the internet. So do underscore connect. Do underscore connect. Now run this program all of you. Run this program. So module object ST. So this is a mistake. So remove this ST underscore IF. Run this now. Now you can see connecting to the network. 
So now it is connected off you. So network configuration 192.168.90.171. So it is connected to the network and this is the IP address network configuration, right? So uh, this is how you can connect to the internet. So if you want to uh, you know connect your ESP32 to the internet, basically you need to include this code in any IoT process. Okay, all of you. Is this clear to everyone? Thank you so much, all of you.